America's strangest lovebirds are at it again. White House advisor Kellyanne Conway was making fun of Joe Biden on Twitter, claiming, quote, Sleepy Joe is Creepy Joe. We need Ukraine's help to defeat this guy? <laughs> and her husband George tweeted back, Your boss apparently thought so. <laughs> okay, so th they, these two have been at it for a while, but this is the first time he's used her, her own tweet against her. Now, what's going on with those two? They're going to get a divorce. Come on, Rhoda. Now, have you, you done your so? investigative reporting? Uh, I mean, here's, here's the journalistic angle on this. Yeah. Which you can find even in this story about the feuding Conways. <laughs> she does not understand what it means to be off the record. You know, in our business, we oh, have yeah. to you yeah. talk to a reporter, yeah. and if they promise you it's off the record, they can't use it. She is always like halfway into a conversation where she's disparaging her husband, saying, oh, and that's off the record. Uh -huh. There was a Washington Post interview where she said, now you can say sources close to the relationship say it's totally uh, uh, insensitive that he beats up on his wife like that. And the reporter for the Washington Post is like, you're on the record now, yeah. girl. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, she just it's about delightful. It. I think she ticked him off. Go at each she other. ticked him off big time when she said, he gets his power through me, if you haven't noticed. Yeah. Well, he does. That was an emasculating he remark. about him, though, if she weren't in the cabinet. And I think that they have a really sick relationship. I think sick. this is a sick thing to do. You have four kids at home, and they're going to read this someday. And I think it's the holiday season, and I'm certainly in a better mood because I'm listening to Christmas music every morning and the idea really that awesome. like I really am the idea that me and my husband would be like somehow feuding with each other over our work is just I just think it's gross and they should I don't know why America has to be subjected to the marital problem it's well, what divorce about Mary in plain Madeline? sight yes, that's is. what it is it's divorce well, well, Mary Madeline and James sight. Carville did it very yeah. successfully they were, and they're still married they were they were very very civil, I love them. though they were like respectful to each other and yeah. so then you actually learned from each of their points of view which is when it works I oh. I am tired of normalizing what is so not normal in this White House, for example, like reading tweets sent out from the White House that are attacking people that work in the White House. You remember that with, with Vindman when he was testifying, mm -hmm. who still works mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. calling them names and bowling them. I also just don't understand what their end game is. Can anyone explain to me, for, does George Conway, does he want Kellyanne to quit? Is he just using he this for his divorce. own attention? You I think just, he wants well, you have a, a lawyer's angle on it. But I, you know, divorce. I just assume, I come at this What's from being someone like a bunch mm -hmm. of people at this table who gets all sorts of speculation about your personal life and you don't really know what they're like behind closed doors. Maybe they hate each other. No, I don't. Do we know that? Do we really know that? Maybe they spar in public. Do you do this to someone you love? I think that gets them hot for her. If my husband did this to me, I'd be. Oh, I do. I think it's very embarrassing. They love it. Really? Yeah. We don't know. Maybe that's the case. So I feel like I'm gonna withhold judgment on whatever's going on inside the relationship. Well, I just think though that for him, he became a resistant celebrity because of her. And he, there's a picture online of him at like a party where he was like watching the debates with a bunch of other celebrities and people. Media and he has become someone that is is held up and and talked about at Hot Topics of the View because of her and as a result he like craps all over her on Twitter all day and I think it's very disrespectful but, and I don't like her and I really don't like the Trump administration but I don't like this either. But is but that what, fair, what, what would you do instead? He, I mean he hates Trump. Oh, I would. She's working for him and lying I for him on a, a daily way for basis. I think to do it and say like. I, I completely, you know, I have huge problems with the work my wife does, but I love her. In the same way, that, by the way, the same thing that I've done with people who I love that are, you know, have connections to the Trump administration, I don't think politics should completely erode not love, compassion, short respect. Shrift. He is a, uh, just a, a very successful attorney in his own right, has worked in administration. He wasn't famous until she was in administration, and That's she wasn't she famous says, until but, he was uh, as well. Yeah, I mean, they, they both were, were working in politics. She was nothing until very, Trump got elected and, president. And he was she actually was not more successful. Successful. Now. More successful. Yes, he was a more. much more successful but it's always, attorney. It's always easier to like someone when they're saying stuff that you agree with or that you want them to say. That's so it's, true. it's fun for people to hear from George Conway because he is so inside the circle because his wife is literally the one person that has been by his side. He's clever other than too. family from he's the beginning. Clever. And he's more well liked. Yeah. yeah he's more true. well liked nationally. But would you be talking about his God. successful career? If he weren't saying things that you were happy with, he was a Washington like inner circle yeah. operative. So yes, people were speaking yeah. about him and talking about him favorably the in whole Washington. Thing's uncomfortable. I, I don't like talking about it at this table. I don't like reading it on Twitter. And people are just tear. I, I'm not the biggest fan of what's going on right now uh, in the White House. But Kellyanne has been getting bullied. Um, I just don't like it. She's it's been, getting it's been bullied. Yeah, she, I mean, it's just awful. She like works for the bully she in can, chief. She can dish it out too. I well, mean, she, she can. She, she can, can dish it, it out. She I'm not. Also. Yeah. I don't want to hear about this hot topics table.
table from anybody in the White House. We are, come on TV every day saying what we have to say, and I'm not interested in your opinion. Well, Thank I, you. I would like them to come on and, and to try to defend that themselves. That would be great. Because they but never I just do. don't want any emails when or they, anything. When they try to defend Trump, they sound moronic. Frankly. I'd love George Conway to come on. Yeah, I'm maybe we can get him on. In that. <laughs> but here again, this is also another distraction. The spectacle. The policy. Yes. Yeah. Sound like a broken record. But that's, I mean, but that's the it's world spectacle. we're in. We normalize everything being a spectacle when it shouldn't be. We normalize. You know, we have this to get some laughs out of this because it's killing us. All right, look, I'm with you. On that. <laughs> it's Absolutely. killing us. Killing I have a joy. headache, a migraine. I'm, I'm, I feel I like I'm premenstrual and I'm postmenopausal. America, your choice, migraine.